Good morning, my friends. I want to welcome all of my uh, friends that are watching this live broadcast on Facebook and on LinkedIn, as well as uh, folks that are watching the recorded session of this session on my YouTube channel. Also want to welcome all of my students and friends that are participating in this live Zoom session. And for those of you that are here, if you have any questions, uh, things that you need help with, please uh, reach out and, uh, and put it in the chat window. You have 10 more days until the month of July ends. 10 more days. And that is plenty of time for all of you to add a few more reps to your business, to rank advance. And uh, so we're here to help you do that. Our July boot camp ended on Thursday, and our August boot camp starts on Thursday, August the 10th. Now we have opened up registration for the August boot camp. So as soon as you register, we're going to give you access to the recorded sessions of the July boot camp. So you can get started right away. Let me quickly look. in the chat so for those of you that are students if you want me to look at some of the people that you're talking to pop it in the chat window now, over the last two weeks, LinkedIn has made some outrageous changes. And as a result of these changes, they've actually made it easier for all of you to talk to more people, qualify them relatively quickly and enroll them into your business. And last week I heard from actually two of my students who are killing it, absolutely killing it. I used to put them in the category of experts at enrolling people. And we're looking at experts at enrolling business builders. Your business grows faster when you bring people that are interested in a business into your business. And when you think about it, if we had to put a headline next to your name, you're all recruiters. The top business builders in your business are recruiters. And all it takes to jump onto Facebook, to jump onto LinkedIn and connect with people that you know need what you have, want what you have, bring them into your business and then train them to be successful is a profile. You don't need all this other crazy stuff that people are out there selling. And you can transform your profiles into marketing magnets with just five profile trees 
on Facebook, on LinkedIn, that will literally encourage people that you're already connected to to want to talk to you. So how would you feel if you knew in advance that the people you were talking to needed and wanted what you're selling so you'd never be rejected when you told them about your network marketing business? Companies are closing. Companies are reducing staff by the end of the month. Bed, bath, and beyond. Close. Last year, they had over 890 stores. All closed in 10 days. You're going to be able to find people who want to work, people who are looking for jobs. And out of that group, there are going to be people that want to start their own business. So how would you feel if you get closed? 80% of the people that you talk to about your business on LinkedIn and Facebook. Other people are doing it. It's not hard. You're learning a dance. A dance. Four steps. Create, connect, communicate, and close. Once you get the, four, the steps down, you literally get out on the dance floor and engage the people that, based on who they are and what they say, would be natural prospects for your business. Now, I love success stories. And next month, in August, I'm going to be celebrating my 27th year anniversary in network marketing. And the truth is that you can sell anything on it. Over the years, most of the students that I worked with were part-time network marketers. And once they went through the program and started to use my four-step formula to build their networking business, they all realized, oh my God, I can use this with my, my day job. Joanne Gallant is a perfect example. Joanne had been in Malaluka for eight years as a customer. She decided she wanted to build the business. She's been following me for years. Jumped into a boot camp, loved the formula and the approach. And then I started to coach her. Holding her hand, first month, she doubled her income in Malibu. Second month of triple. She was off and running. And then she realized, oh my God, I can use this to sell insurance policies because that was what she was doing. So she starts increasing insurance sales and the company, people in her office, all of a sudden started to question, how are you doing this? They actually hired her to do trainings for the other agents. She sent me a check of a $5,000 check she got. That was one of four that she got that year, training other agents. So I heard from her last week, and, and I have to tell you, the feedback that I got from people that heard her during that 4 o'clock webinar was outrageous because what she said motivated everybody that was on that session to know that they could do this. You can do this. This is what she had to say. I mean, Matt, what you've taught me, obviously I've applied to my network marketing business and it absolutely works. We know that it's a fact. You've done it with me. You've done it with so many others, but you know, one of the things I always say was, what, what you teach us, we can apply to any job, any job. And it's the same technique. It's the same dance. And I've used it in the insurance world where I was recruiting for multiple agencies and using your techniques. I remember one month I recruited 
40 insurance agents in one month. You know, that's, that's huge. Um, and I know that you've worked with others that have built huge insurance agencies as well. Um, currently, I'm doing outside sales. I'm working for Republic Services, as you can see in my banner there. I have been with the company two and a half months. They started in the beginning of May. And I told my manager when I was in the interview process how I thought that, you know, I can apply LinkedIn and explode, you know, this type of position. And it didn't register with them. And I waited and I, I said, the first couple of weeks, I got to learn what I'm doing. I got that down. And then I said, I'm going, I'm posting my first customer. So if you look back about a month, you'll see, you know, Go Auto was my first post, nothing fancy. Um, and then uh, about a week ago, I think I did five posts in a row. And one of my posts for uh, Red Arrow Diner has gotten over 6,000 views between two, you know, it said, oh, do you want to post in the, um, you know, restaurant group or whatever. So this one here is a nonprofit, the one that you have right there. So they do mental health. And, you know, I've got 23 likes on that and a good number of views. This one uh, was a little restaurant in Nashua. And I think it was over 1,100 views when I saw it last. Uh, so what I'm doing is I've had a little twist little auto dealership. I think that one had about 1,200 views when I first looked at it last time. I'm not even really, the diner one's my favorite, the next one right there. So this diner, Red Arrow Diner, it's been around for 100 years, and I just posted me with some of the guys outside and one of the owners. 67 people liked it. So using your technique, I do a little post, and the only thing I'm saying about Republic Services is welcome to the Republic Services family. So just doing that, you know, is getting more engagement, more people within the company. But just in the last week or so, I've been asked, I trained my group of, you know, my office. And now I've got my division manager sending out messages talking about how I, because of these couple of posts that I've done, I had someone on LinkedIn that I connected with on the 25th of June with my message one that you taught, copy paste. And I got a sale from that. And this guy, it's, he's got 10 gas stations. So I'm getting the first one in August, and you know, as long as we deliver, which we will, I'll end up getting 10 locations from him seeing my posts that you taught us how to do. You know what I mean? So I have a little bit of a twist, but my manager sent out a message talking about how he sees the value of what I'm doing, talking about me being 310% of budget. Then it's gone out to the region, and now one of the, the division managers are reaching out they're shocked at what I'm doing. They're talking about me training their leaders and their sales force. They have 40,000 people that work for, for Republic Services. And this is like, you know, breaking news, using LinkedIn to do what we're doing here. I just think super cool. You know, it's like throwing that pebble in the water. And I just want to let you know, it's still having the ripple effect from what you and I have done. So I have... Uh... I think three people on here that are everybody that's on here, I think is a student. But I have three people here that are uh, contemplating one on one coach. Why are they doing that, Matt? There's no question. The one on one coaching is where this all clicks for me. You know what I mean? And you know, after like my second session with you, we, we fixed the profile, you showed me the basics, I started running with it. I couldn't sleep at night. I couldn't sleep at night. You know, once we started having our one-on-one -on -one session, I was getting up at three, four in the morning and I would start doing my connections, you know, doing what, what you taught me. And as you know, you know, if you go back through our, you know, trail there, I enrolled three people in one day when I was doing the network marketing. I got paid $5,000 to do three LinkedIn trainings for one of the insurance groups. Your training, your one-on-one -on -one coaching has opened up so many doors for me. So as time goes by, I always like to give you an update to let you know how I'm doing, but it all stems back to that that one-on-one -on -one training that we did. You know what I mean? Yeah. Were you surprised at how fast everything started to happen? Initially, yeah. I mean, like Max, I knew about you. I've heard about you from years before you and I had gotten together. You know, I've watched some of the some of the webinars that you had, but I mean, like immediately when we first started working together, things just it just was like a snowball effect. But when I take that into other other areas and see how it how it explodes, like 
I can't tell you how excited I am about what I'm doing now. I seeing it with my upper management, how they're all like super, I mean, super excited. Many of those people that, that like this post are our public services, the 67. And many of them I weren't connected to. So it was a layup in growing my, my connection. So every time you look at my connection, it grows. You know, it, it doesn't take a ton of time. You know, you put in 20, 30 minutes a day, but it's really hard to not want to keep going because it's so much fun. Mm-hmm. Well, think about the ripple effect. Come into this company. You know, you're introducing them to something new. How big is the company? We 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 service about 14 million customers across the country, but there are about 40,000 people that work at Republic Services, and I'm just one of them. And literally, I'm getting attention from across the country with what I'm doing. I'm even getting competitors sending me messages that are like, I, I wish I did that when I was with the company, or you know what I mean? Like people are like, how brilliant, and it's such a simple concept. It's like giving a thank you to the customers, but it's also, it's promoting me, it's promoting the business, it's promoting, you know, the company I work for. And it's just so simple. It's a post, you know what I mean? It takes 10 minutes to put it together. And that's, my friend, one of the things that I emphasize in our current boot camp, because it's not just about the conversation you have. It's about your activity. It's about putting things out there that people can see, that people can react to, that people can respond to. That the ripple effect of that is indescribable. You know, right now, I, I wouldn't be surprised in six months if you got, I don't know if you're looking for it, a major promotion, maybe VP of training. Yeah, I can totally see something like that, you know, coming down the pike if, if that's the path that I choose. But right now, I think that I'm just having so much fun doing this. You know what I mean? Like when you when you get so excited to do a job that, you know, is fun and, and you know, you enjoy it. You know, I, I can see that happening down the road or them coming up with some sort of initiative. But for now, I just want to focus on this because this is just it's it's totally fun. Just like with building network marketing business this way. It's far more fun than asking friends to come over and, you know, would you please come over and do it and all. It ought to be way more fun. Well, Joanne, it, it was wonderful to hear from you. Again, congratulations are once again in order. For me, it's going to be enjoyable to watch you, your career blossom, you know, as a result of, you know, what I taught you. But, you know, you did your own little spin to it. I mean, I love that line. That's so trash. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's terrific. Thanks again for sharing Thank you. your story and congratulations. Thank you. And anyone, you know, on the fence, don't hesitate. Max's time is limited. And, you know, if you get the opportunity to work with him, he is truly a guest. So thank you again, Max. Thank you. Now, when you're talking to the right people, you can close 80 to 90% of the people that you talk to. I mean, think about it. You know in advance. You know in advance. Based on the contents of the page. That they need, that they want something. And and more important than that, the more selective you are about who you talk to, the more successful you're going to be. For those of you that are in boot camp, every day we're reaching out to new people. Every day we're connecting. Every day we're starting conversations with people. Five people a day, 10 people a day, 15 people a day, 20 a day. But now every day is part of your activity. You need to be filtering these people down determining who are the serious prospects for your business and then transitioning the line, the conversation over to introducing the business and following the scripts. And realistically, every day you need to be using that project launch scripts at least three times a day with the appropriate people. You do that and you can enroll four or five people into your business before the end of the year, before the end of the month. All you have to do is follow the scripts. Only talk to qualified prospects about your business. The secret to connecting with the right people 
lies with the contents of their profile, their visible daily activity, and their answers <clears throat> to your questions. Joe Whaley enrolled 18 people into his network marketing business during his first boot camp with my personal coaching. 18 people. He came back the next year. Let me open Joe up. You know, I love it when former students come back. Hi, Mr. Joe, how are you? Good, good, doing great. I love it. You know, I constantly refer to you as, you know, one of my favorite success stories because Joe here is probably one of the most experienced, talented salespeople I've ever met. I mean, this man could sell you anything. Sweet. <laughs> we are like him already. <laughs> you know, it's true. I mean, we're going to talk a little bit about you. You know, when I was working with you back in 2018, you know, you kicked it up right away. You were doing great. And then in 2009, yep. you decided to do this insurance insurance thing. And I never thought that, I mean, you had pretty high goals, you know, 100 agents in two months. You guys did it. Well, that you're here. Now, one thing I want to point out to you in looking at your profile, see, I can see your followers. And this was a sly little thing that LinkedIn did where they told you if you want to make your posts visible for all the things that you do, then what you do is you become a content creator. Gotcha. Okay. And we thought when we did that, that was a wonderful thing. And it really was. But then it's kind of like in the middle of the night on a Friday night, they went in and they changed the deal. And what they did, and what they did was they replaced your connect button with a follow button. So yep. we're going to explain why. And so we need to go back in there and turn that off so that people can connect with you because they can still see what you're doing. Yeah, I would like that. But you can also, if you click on more, I think there's a connect button and more. Well, no, there wouldn't be one for us because we're already connected. Right, right. By then, if it was a new person. Right, well, right. But see, the average person doesn't know about that. That's true. Where do you go in? I don't even know where to go in and turn it off. Anymore. If we have time, I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you, Max, I want to say thanks so much. And this is going to be our first million dollar year on that. We're well on our way. And I just wanted to, I, I, I mean, I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for me. I just can't. I really appreciate everything you've done. Just wanted to see it. That's awesome. This year. Okay. Now, again, it doesn't matter what you're selling. Doesn't matter what you're selling. Dan Ladd was building a Malaluga business. His sponsor dies. Now, we had already conducted three coaching sessions. He was on fire. And when his sponsor died, he lost his enthusiasm for building Malaluga. So what does he do? He says to me, Max, um, maybe you can help me get more customers. For my cleaning business, he had a, a drone cleaning service. He was going, he was cleaning single family homes. Well, the drones literally, oh, he, he could, didn't just have to do single family homes. We opened up his horizons. He could start doing restaurants. He could start doing office buildings. He could do hotels, any structure. And so he went to town. And it was totally life-changing for him. And I have to tell you, I love when former students come back. So we're broadcasting it right here. So I want to open this up. And I'm going to bring up Dan. And everybody's got a story. Dan has an amazing one. I just want to. Hi, Max. Hey, Dan. It's nice to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing is the question. Living the dream life. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's amazing. It's amazing. Beyond amazing. My business has exploded, and, and we're just growing in leaps and bounds. We've got uh, our biggest problem is, is getting enough people and equipment. And, and as you know, you know, I use your principles outside of your marketing, but they're awesome in any walk of life. <laughs> you know, I remember last year, you, you know, you made the comment that you were struggling financially to where you couldn't even put tires on your car. That's true. That's true. And, and now we have five work vehicles. Five drones. <laughs> we, uh, you know, in the process of buying another one, and we buy everything with cash. 
What advice would you give uh, anybody that was listening to you? And I would say, you know, it, it's all a numbers game, but at the same time, the numbers can be slanted in your favor. And that's what I think your process has done, did for me, was slanted the numbers in my favor. I learned who to contact and how to contact the right people. And so, and I was building an marketing company and I kind of, I, I stopped just because I got kind of sideswiped when my sponsor died. And Jason was, I mean, just a, a great guy. And he just kind of really set me back. But, but I was also using these in my personal business. And, and and it just started taking off because of the contacts I was making. I was making local contacts and just started, I mean, it's taken off. And we just signed on to clean over a 1,000 pizza huts. We are cleaning water towers and just things that I never would have imagined. And just the way it's all happened was, was really just because of making contacts, just expanding my network, contacting people in, the, in my area and contacting people outside of my area with the companies and the people I wanted to work with and learning who those people were and how to message them. That was the thing that, you know, Knowing who to talk to is one quarter of the fit of the bat. I mean, I think it's about a quarter of it. It's knowing how to talk to people. You know, that's the hardest part. Knowing what to say and knowing how to get that conversation going and keeping it going and to the point where you know, you know, to be able to say, okay, not right now for this person. They, you know, they're they're focused on other things. But just knowing, you know, I've had people that I that I talk to and I realize that you know the conversation wasn't going where I wanted it to and and it was a not right now. But you know what? We come back and talk to those people again, and just in just in keeping up with little messages like "How you know, happy birthday." And I had people just say, "Oh, hey, yeah, thank you." And you know what? I want to talk to you <laughs> by keeping up. And those little things matter. And building that relationship, relationships have meant everything. Yeah, it's all about relationships. Let me ask you: What was the biggest thing that you got from me when we were working in my coaching program? How to talk to people. Uh -huh. That's right. How to talk to people. Being able to and, and respond and responding in a in a timely manner, but not being like a vulture and not being on top of people. I still get messages every day from vultures, people that make me feel like they're vultures. And I know they're just trying to build their business, but they shoot me messages, blind messages about telling me all about their business and, and how great it is and how much I could earn and all that stuff. And they don't even, and that's the very first message they send me. And you know what? I usually block them because, you know, to me, they're just, a, you know, they're, they're just, they're, they're not out there talking to people to work with people for them. It's just, you know, they just want the money. And, and I've learned help enough other people get what they want and you get everything you could ever want. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so true. It is the, it is the most truest thing I've ever heard. And I didn't know it at the time because it was all about me. I need, I think, because I need was my issue. I need, I need, I need, I need. I was in a need and not in a, not, not in a helping other people. It was all about me and what I need. Well, that's understandable when, you know, you need to leave tires on your car and you can't afford it. But again, just making that little shift in your mindset, knowing, I, knowing that you're going to feel the need. It's coming. Exactly. It's coming. I was just going to say that we, last time I talked to you, I, thought, I figured we'd do a quarter of a million dollars, you know, we're going to surpass $2 million this year. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's a humongous jump. It's a humongous jump. And we can't keep up. Well, I'm glad I, paid a sm I played a small part in it. Okay. Let me, before I share another success story, let me come over here and let's look at some of you that are having conversations with people, all right? So let's take a look. Go over here to LinkedIn.
All right. And uh, so Dutch, you say you're talking to somebody. What's the email address that you use to log into your account? All the options at Gmail. Dot com. All the options. Oh, here you go. Okay. Here yes. You go. Okay. Yeah, there I am. Okay, and so who are we talking to? Richard, uh, Edric, H-E-D-R-I-C-K. Right here. Accomplished mortgage banking team builder and sales leader. Now, the mortgage business is going to hell in a handbasket. So there are going to be millions of people in this field that are looking for work. We come down here. So he's been looking for work. Since December. He's been on sabbatical. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, what are you doing? All right. There's a script where you're, you ask questions to learn about the other person. All right. And what, what you're doing, you're not following the script. If you're not going to follow the script, okay, then you're making your work 10 times harder than it has to be. It's not about you. It's not about you. I like multiple income sources. Big deal. He doesn't give a rat's ass what you like. He's been on sabbatical. Why? What prompted him to go on sabbatical? Why? Why did he take that sabbatical? How does he feel about what's going on in the in, in, in his business? What what did he like about the things that he was doing in the past? What did he like? That gives you an opportunity to see whether or not he would fit in what you're trying to market and sell. So you see, a, a, I. I I browse connection and I see a potential fit on a couple of levels. All right, all of this. 40 years in real estate. So he says here, hey, promise, promise to keep myself to be open-minded. Great answer, by the way. Yes, yeah, it's a great answer. How about you? Are you feeling like trying outside ventures, outside of your, your proven position. There's nothing, absolutely nothing that follows my scripts, all right? Nothing, all right? You got to follow the scripts. You, you told me I could go outside of the script. Well, you could go out to the scripts to a certain amount, to a certain level. You can personalize the script, but that's not personalizing the script. That's telling him all about you. Tell me all about you. How many people have you enrolled in your business in the last 90 days? Three. Three. Doing this? 
some of it, yeah. Not not on here. Made a connection and talked to them, but okay. great. No, not not through your scripts. No, okay. well, not we, right there. Well, we know why you're not following the script. Let 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 me go into someone's account and who is following the script. Okay, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so let's come up and let's look. Well, there's one person I know that follows the scripts word for word. So let's go over there and take a look at Bunny. In our the recent case studies that we sent out, Bun me was talking to somebody, started a conversation with somebody in November, last November, so, enrolled them in her business this past year, eight months. And if we go in and we look at the amount of texting back and forth that she was doing, and we added up the time involved in those texts back and forth, 80 minutes, 80 minutes over eight months. The balance of her communicating with these folks was with posts, posts. So let me, let's go over here and take a look at Jamie. Let me unmute Bunny. Good morning, Max. Good morning. So it's kind of interesting how this is a woman <laughs> that, or I mean, how long you you've been talking to her, never really answered your questions. Yes. And now, hey. I was hoping you still get back to me about that special project. Okay. So we asked her, what does she know? She's aware of these companies. Okay. So now what you're going to have to do. Is I sent a message on. Oh, oh, okay, good. So let me take a look. I'm not surprised that you know, that you know about these companies and maybe a little bit about network marketing. Okay. okay. Let me explain precisely how network marketing works. Okay. All right. Now, network marketing is an industry where large companies use word of mouth advertising to generate sales and reward their distributors with healthy commissions on sales for doing so. Network marketing attracts professionals like you and me with an entrepreneurial spirit to build a business around products or service that are constantly in demand and serves a huge market. Now, what we want to do right in here, go back up and look at her profile. She likes to sell. Yes. She she loves to sell. All right? Yes. I love sales. Okay? So I love the challenge and the rush I get. So we come back over here, especially like you and me, with an entrepreneurial spirit that love to sell okay, and build a team of like-minded business partners 
around products or service that are constantly in them. This is what we mean by modifying it to fit the particular circumstances. We're not talking about changing the dynamics and, and, and filling in things about you. This is about her. So what attracts most people to network marketing is the residual income component. Once people start buying the products you're recommended, they continue to get paid every time. It would be like you told someone that didn't know anything about Target. Icing on the cake is that every time they return to the store, additionally, if they told a friend about Target. Now, okay, now, what you need to do here, right after you talk, right after you give the Target thing, what you need to do is you need to, to, to now you're going to insert to be successful in network marketing requires three things now you have those yes all right after you say that um now um today And then I would say today you don't have to chase your friend, your your you don't have to chase your family and friends to advertise for clients or go to people's homes to be successful. Um, I would put that before this paragraph here. Okay. And so, um, if you're passionate about selling. You're going to love the residual income component to network marketing. Because every time you make a sale, you continue to get paid as people continue to buy what we're selling. Would you like to know now? Would you like to know more about my company and how we would work together? Couple, a couple of little modifications. Okay. All right. But and, and what you could also say is, I'm sorry for my delayed response. As the end of the month approaches, my business really picks up. And then, then go into that. Okay. All right. Now, the other thing is, we also need to post things. That would resonate with her. Um, yeah. um, something about opportunity, something about the success, something about the future. And, okay. and that's, that's really all you have to do. But the amazing thing, when you think about it, okay, when you think about it, look at all the time you've been taught, you've been, you've been connected to her since last year, November, yeah. about the same time you hooked up with the colonel. Yes. Okay. And it's taken this because she'd ask her questions. She never answered. Never answered. Okay. Yes. So now, now she's at a point. You, you're not one of those people that are just trying to push things on her. Okay. Yes. All right. So that's, that's good. Let, let me. Uh, Thank you. We'll, we, we'll look at the other one in the in the mastermind session. Okay. Let me. Uh, and uh, let me see. Let's get out of your account. And and did I see? I thought I saw.
So while we're looking at this, uh, good morning, uh, Francisco's here. So I'll, 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 let's let me address this first, Francisco, and then. Um, so Jackie, who are are who are you uh, who are you talking to on here? Thanks, Max. It's Ariel A R I E L Miller. Guess the first name. Yeah. Okay. So she is a demand generation manager. She says she's open to work. Nine years of experience in sales. All right. So, demand generation manager. So, you always want to look to see. The entire list just to see maybe they've got a network marketing company list. Now, the more people write about themselves, the more open it is to communication. All right. So let's go back. So you connected with her. Now she's an eager socializer. She wrote back. Yeah, right away. Okay, everyone's extremely supportive. So now we sent the image. Now, so you're asking here, so Ariel, what is your current work situation. I should just let you know that she had sent out a post that I saw. She's got it down there of her desperation. She's uh, her contracts have dried up. And anyway, you'll continue to see what she says here. Okay, now. She's, she's got an open to work frame around her picture. Come down here. So according to this, her profile says she's been a demand generation manager. She's been working here for the last four years. All right. We send the image. Future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. I just sent this to a good friend. I thought that you'd appreciate it too. I routinely send motivational messages like these to my friends on LinkedIn. I hope you enjoy them. Now, the next question that we're supposed to ask is based on the content of the profile. Now, anybody that has an open to work frame around their picture, she says she's open to work. The, the question that gets the best responses is why do you wanna leave Upwork if they're working them for four, for four years? 
Why do you want to, why do you want to leave? You're asking, so what is your current work situation? It's not the same thing. When you ask somebody why they want to leave, you're getting to the heart of, of, of their circumstance. In other words, you've been working for this company for, four, for over four years. What do you want to, what's going on? Why do you want to leave? The answer that you're going to get is going to be better. So you say, what is your current work situation? So I am currently open to work for remote roles that fall under sales, marketing. All right. You ask her what her current work situation is. She's telling me, I'm open to work. Had you asked the other question, right? You'd know if she's still working there. And more important than that, you'd know why she left. Yeah, I guess I just read her post and it told me everything I needed to know. But I, what you're saying is I need her to say it. Well, OK, back up a second. So why did she leave? Well, she had just sent a post. If you look down here, I had just read it. And it's about her desperation. Well, because her... But why'd she leave? Oh, she goes on to explain that um, uh, that uh, everybody was dismissed the week before Thanksgiving of last year. And she's been doing DoorDash since. Okay. Like she's really hanging by a string, okay? Right. And she's got all this, all this potential. Well, again. But I see what you're saying. If I had asked why, but I got fooled because I read, in my mind, I was fooled because I knew the answer, you know? But you don't know the answer. I had read her post about her desperation. Well, so I, that, right, but... So in other words, the answer to the question, why she leave is well, because the company dismissed everybody in November. Now, the next natural question would be, so what have you been doing since then for work? There's a natural transition. So let's see here. Now this here. Um, well, she She's so desperate. I just didn't want her waiting. And I had been up early and I need to go to bed, you know, so I sent her that. Okay. Just compassionately. Okay. That's fine. I'm currently open to work remote roles. All right. Now. You can't be sure that you may see the person is online. But you can't be sure that they're going to read your message. That you that you can't be sure that they're going to respond right away. So, uh, how are you doing today? Well, she wrote back a minute later. Okay. So what happened? So that led me to going back on Upwork. So she's talking about I-5. 
Mm-hmm. And now she's doing individual stuff with. Okay. So. Now, another mistake that a lot of people make. How have you been doing with that kind of work? That's the question. And then you ask another question. Has it been a struggle? Um, she didn't answer. Okay. Yeah, Bye. I truly believe she was busy because later she said she was doing back-to-back calls. Okay. But I, I shouldn't have said that. Right. Okay, so right here, she's told you or not. I love helping others. Mm-hmm. So right here, there's a easy opportunity. Right here. I feel it. <laughs> okay. You know, I love, you know, that's what I do. You love helping others. No wonder, no wonder LinkedIn suggested that we connect. Okay. Okay, right here. Um Now here, how does a demand generation manager work? Um, See, none of this, none of this relates to what she said before. Okay? Right here, I'm on a roll. You're on a roll. I love helping others. Mm-hmm. All right? It's an awesome feeling. And so you come down here, and this would, would have been the perfect opportunity. Perfect opportunity to say, okay. you know. We, we like doing the same things. Okay. So asking this question down here, how a demand generation manager works. Now you're going off in left field. You're not following the, the, the perfect, easy flow of the conversation that makes it so easy. You follow the scripts. You follow the intent of the scripts. You have success. You deviate. This is a deviation. You slow the process down. And you miss an opportunity that sometimes you you lose and you don't get back. So here, all you have to do to pick it right up again is thanks for sharing sharing this. And then, you know, I didn't realize how much we have in common because like you i love helping others succeed in business in fact i get to do it every every day all right and then um i would ask what do you know about the network marketing business model go go right to it all right sweetie i need five minutes what Okay, what are we going to do? I don't know what to do. You have to use the glove and the finger. All right. Thank you, Max. Okay. Now, at one o'clock, we're going to come back. And I sent out, if, if for those of you that are on my mailing list, I sent you a, um, a link to our mastermind session. where you can get a better idea. Let let me open up. um,
Looks like Francisco got knocked off. A, a Dutch building rapport. It's easy to build rapport. Your profile sets you up to build rapport. Your posts build rapport. When you are communicating with people via text, the conversation needs to be about the other person. Let me pop back over here. So two simple adjustments to his profile. And one post, and within 72 hours, he was the number one recruiter for the week in his business. Two weeks later, he sends me this. It's exactly like he said it would be since last week. I've made two posts that generated dozens of easy conversations by following your scripts word for word. And I've generated a dozen sales. Two posts. Generated dozens of easy conversations by following your scripts, word for word, and I generated a dozen sales. Six sales for each post. Then he calls in with a success story. I do have a great, great quick testimony. Just sponsored a new individual. Uh, I've actually got a member of my team uh, on here who's one of our newest six figure earners, Melissa Brower. I wanted to give her a shout out. Uh, she just hit 100k in, in this company. She's already done it before, but this is the, the most fun we've had. And um, a young lady I just sponsored um, who has zero network marketing experience, I taught her just a few of the techniques that you taught me, and she's already like number seven in recruiting in our company right now. I just saw her name on the leaderboard uh, tonight. So I was like, wow, I got to tell Max. So it's really cool. I just wanted to uh, tell you, man, everything you're teaching, it works in real life. And uh, we all appreciate you so much. Everything I teach works. Somebody that's brand new, brand new to network marketing. Number seven, recruiting. I want to share one other. Sam. Sponsored 12 people. 12 people. He has recruited 21 people in three weeks. Three weeks because he's following the steps, he's following the program. This should motivate all of you towards the end of the month. Carol joins a company. She's been in network marketing for 15 years. The last 16, six days of the month, she used the project launch script to reconnect with people. She gave 10 presentations, enrolled eight customers in six days. For those of you that are students, we need to be using the Project Launch script to introduce the business. Best month I've ever had in 15 years. I even advanced one level. Changed her life, and she's having fun. Second month, my team's on fire, duplicating over the last two months. We have 23 customers. I reached the first rank in December. Last six days of my first month. My second month, I rang advance again to director two, and I have one team member to director one. This month, the average is one new customer daily. This is when you follow the scripts. This is when you pay attention to what the other person says. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just like Joanne, this is so much fun. It's hard to stop. Everything you teach works. And then month number three, I rank advanced 
in my business every month for the last three months. I'm now a director three and I'm having incredible fun. Changed my life. I wish I knew you four years ago. I am handing everybody a perfect recipe for being successful. You stick for the recipe, you're on your way. Now, for those of you that are students, just came out of our last boot camp. I encourage you to take advantage of our 90 day challenge. I'll put it in the I'll put it in the chat. Go to maxeingart.com forward slash 90 day challenge. And join me in And for those of you that have aspirations to master this process and rank advance significantly in your company before the end of the year, I've opened up registration for our August boot camp, as well as our top earner retreat. Now, as soon as you register, you'll get immediate access to the recorded sessions of our July boot camp, so you can get started right away. And you'll also gain access to the tools in the retreat. That includes our whales book, how to network markets, recruit whales, and the top earners 90 day game plan. Again, I will be back at one o'clock for those of you that are coaching students. I sent a link out to the general population. So encourage any of you that want to learn more about conversation, because that's all it is. It's just conversation. You watch me work with my coaching students and see it's not hard it really isn't hard focus on the other person and you're on your way